Welcome back. Over the next few videos, let's understand more about Jest. Let's start with watch mode in this video. Now what you should know is that when we run yarn test or npm test, behind the scenes, it starts Jest in watch mode. Now what is watch mode? Watch mode is an option that we can pass to Jest asking to watch files that have changed since the last commit and execute tests related only to those changed files. This is an optimization designed to make your tests run fast regardless of how many tests you have. Let's understand better with an example. If we go back to VS Code, we can see in the source control panel, we have two changed files. So when we run yarn test, Jest will start in watch mode, watch these two files and execute the tests only in the changed test file. Even though we have a test in app.test.tsx, Jest does not pick that up. And this is a really helpful feature once your code base grows in size and you have hundreds of tests. You would be interested in the files you are currently working on and watch mode will help with that. Let's now commit the files and see what happens. Control C to cancel Jest and commit the files. Add greet component and tests. Now, if we rerun yarn test, you can see the message. No test found related to files changed since last commit. Press A to run all tests. When I press A, we see all the three tests. One from app component and two from greed component. If I now cancel the process again, control C, make a small change in greet.test.tsx, save the file, rerun yarn test, Jest will once again watch greet.test.tsx and execute all the tests present in the file. We have two tests and both of them have passed. This is about watch mode in Jest. It is a default that Create React App adds to the test script, so it was essential for me to make sure you're aware of what is happening every time you run the command. To quickly recap, watch mode is an option that we can pass to Jest asking to watch files that have changed since the last commit and execute tests related only to those changed files. In the next video, let's take a look at filtering tests.